Alright guys, so I'm coming to y'all with a few different things because we got a big task that we have to complete. As a lot of you may know, me and my cousin, Cars with Dez, have been going at it, but we've never actually raced. He's completely convinced that there's no way a 350 can beat his 306. Now, I can't say this. His 306 pulls strong. He's a lot lighter. There's a lot of things that are in that that are uh, uh, favor his way. But let me say this: these 350s, the things I got over him is I got cubic inches, and a lot of people think the 350s are slow. But here's what we gonna do: we got a few things that we gonna do to make this thing fast. So I'm, in this video, we are gonna go over what I'm gonna do to make Iron Man competitive with a Fox body. Can we get it done? Y'all stay tuned, let's find out, let's see what we got. God is everything. Without God, I'm nothing. All right guys, so let's start with the easy stuff, man. So, first part that I have here that don't make a difference is this right here. Now, this is just a cheap X pipe that I found on Amazon for a bit of nothing. I'm gonna throw this on Iron Man I know this ain't necessarily worth horsepower, but this is one of the first upgrades we're gonna make to Iron Man to try to see if we can pull any more performance out of it. I know they said this is supposed to make the, the, the gases, you know, flow better and all this and that. So we're gonna go with the X pipe. Right now we're just straight pipe, two individual pipes. We're gonna throw this X pipe on. This is gonna be one of the things that's going down the pipe for Iron Man. Next up, man, the power is nothing if we can't put it to the ground. So, this is an Eaton Posi unit that I've had for a while. Matter of fact, this is actually the wrong Posi unit for this truck specifically, but it is still an 8.5. This is an 8.5 for the OBS uh, trucks, but it's still an 8.5 slash 8.6. And this is a 30 spline axle, so I have to buy 30 spline axles to make this fit in Iron Man. But this is an essential piece that's going to definitely help me put that power down so that I can get by that Fox body. This accompanied by some 342 gears or 373 gears. Not sure which ones I'm going to do. I may go 373s because of the lack of power. I don't have a lot of power, so gearing it to will definitely wake Iron Man up. So, it may be 373s. Could <laughs> sneak a 410 in there, man. So. Y'all just throw me some suggestions if you're watching this. Let me know. Let me know what you think. All right, guys. And the very last piece of this puzzle is a cam upgrade. And I found this brand new Comp Cams cam kit on Facebook Marketplace for 150 dollars. It has the lifters. This is a whole cam and lifter kit. This kit goes for 300 and something dollars if you buy it new. But I found this thing brand new from Facebook Marketplace. And like I said, man, it is brand new in the box. Everything is sealed up like it should be. Now, this is not a hydraulic roller cam. And yes, he is running a hydraulic roller cam, so there's another disadvantage. Now, my block is a roller block but I found a good deal on this flat tapping cam. Now, between the time when I get ready to do the cam swap and the time that I get ready to actually do the swap, if I find another good deal on hydraulic roller cam, I would definitely be getting that cam because like I said, I got a roller block and I can definitely just slide a hydraulic roller cam right in that thing and get all the power out of it. But for now, we just been going with this uh, mother thumper. This is not the big mother thumper, but this is a mother thumper cam. These cams sound very, very good. I'm not sure of like power gains or anything like that, um, but it does sound really good. And like I said, we're gonna take what we got with the uh, X-Pipe, we're gonna throw it on there. I know X-Pipe don't improve performance, but the X-Pipe, the Posi unit, this, um, this cam kit and a set of heads. Um, now, Speaking on the heads, I don't actually have the heads yet, but the head situation is gonna go one or two ways. It's either gonna go that I'm gonna get some very, very cheap 
heads off of eBay. They got some uh, DNA heads or something like that. Those heads, um, they come bare, but they're about three, three hundred something dollars for both heads. They're aluminum heads. I've actually heard a lot of good things about them. That they were actually pretty good for what they were. Um, now, if I run across a good set of heads, and I can definitely feel confident that they, that the heads are still good, like a good set of AFRs. Uh, I think I've seen some Patriot heads. And, um, there's a lot of good small block Chevy head brands out there. Uh, Trick Flow. Any of those heads, if I can find them and I can prove that they're good heads, they'll Brock, don't matter. But if I can actually feel confident that they're good heads, I will be buying those heads and that will be another piece of the puzzle. And we're gonna make this 350 fly, man, no matter what. I tell y'all this, even if I got to slide a little bit of shot of nitrous on it to, to, to even up the scope, I'll do it. Hopefully y'all seen in another video that I actually have a, another 350 block that's a two bolt main, that's like a LT1 block. Hopefully y'all have seen in that, in that other video that I got that bare block and we are gonna be making a 383 stroker out of it. So y'all definitely need to stay tuned because Iron Man is gonna be flying here in just a couple months. Y'all see it being slow now, but in a couple months, we're gonna be making some noise. So uh, we, we I'm still working on getting the transmission in, but this video is just, um, I wouldn't say fluff, but it's kind of like something to give y'all an update because I'm still waiting on parts. As y'all can see, Iron Man is still in there, right there, um, because I'm still waiting on a few more parts to completely button this transmission in. Things like transmission fluid and different things that I just ordered for it to make it a better running transmission. So, um, like I said, man, y'all just be y'all just be ready for the upgrades. A lot of them are coming. And we are going to definitely defeat Rose. I promise y'all that. No matter what, if I can't do it with this 350, that 383 right there that I'm looking at on that ground, let me show it to y'all. That 383 in that bag right there, that 383 gonna do it. If I got to make that 383 run off racing gas, I don't care. It don't even matter to me. I make that joker run off straight 110. It won't even run off 93. If, if that's what I gotta do to win the race, I'll do it. Anyway, man, for another video that I created recently, I'm going to link it over here for y'all, man. Pulse TV, gone.